Hey guys, how are you? It's Jean Watts and I'm gonna show you guys this no makeup makeup look. And I use this new like series of like primers and uh, BB creams and setting powders and all that stuff. So pretty much all new products. And I got so many compliments the other day about my skin and I feel like I mastered it. So the goal for this look was to look as natural as possible with a little bit of definition to bring out your features. And what I'm wearing, these are Amazon, Amazon, Amazon. And this cute little shirt, it's so hot, I'm dying right now. This like skylight, the sun is beating on me. So this shirt is really sweet because it looks cute, but it's really airy and light. So I will link these all below and yeah. Let's get to it. Okay, so I already put on this and which is like a moisturizer primer. And then I also put in my Glow Recipe Dew Drops. I am obsessed with this stuff. Like I already put it on, but I just, if I can just bathe in this stuff, I would. I just love it. And then I am going to put it on Laneige uh, lip mask. I'm just gonna put on a little bit. So that's like for the skincare. Now I am going to put on this e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. My face feels so good right now. So I am now going to take my L'Oreal Lumi Glotion and I'm gonna put this on. Okay. And then I'm also going to take Maybelline's BB Cream. So it's a very thin coverage and also has SPF 30. Um, I'm a little bit tanner than usual. I might mix these, but I have medium sheer tint, which is lighter. And then I have medium deep sheer tint, which is a little bit darker. So, yeah, maybe that's a little dark actually. I'm gonna put a little there. <laughs> I want it to look like skin as much as possible, but with some coverage. I'm gonna take my hands and I'm just gonna kind of mix these together. And the Lumi Glotion just adds a nice glow to the BB cream. So it gives that really fresh skin look. When I use my hands, <laughs> so much more product goes wrong. But that's okay, I'm gonna take some, put it on my neck. And then I'm going to take my Beauty Blender that is damp and I'm just gonna set this all around my face. So as you can see, it's super light coverage, which is what I want. Because even though it's not completely, I mean, if you want to put full thicker foundation, you can. But again, I want this to be the no makeup makeup look. Okay, so I am now going to just go around and just touch up some spots that I just want more coverage to have. And I'm going to take my MAC Studio Concealer in NC30, and I'm just gonna take a brush like this, doesn't really matter. And I'm just gonna lightly go on spots that are a little pigmented that I don't want there. I don't mind a little pigmentation coming through, but I definitely feel like I can hide a little, maybe around my nose. In person, and in this camera, it looks kind of different. <laughs> okay, so another trick. When you set your foundation or your concealer around your face, take your finger and kind of tap it until it's seamless into your skin. It just makes it look more like skin, if that makes sense. Okay, so for concealer, I'm going to take my MAC Studio Fix 24 Hour Smooth Wear Concealer, and this is in shade NC30. I like this stuff because it's very thin coverage. And with this look, 
again we want to see this some skin so i'm just gonna dab this in okay so i feel like you know i can get right here just a little more in here i feel like in person it's not showing up but in this camera i can still see it which is okay but all right cool that's good with that now i'm gonna take a little bit of my wet and wild contour stick add a little here i like using creams when i'm trying to get a um very natural look because it keeps your skin a little more hydrated and it doesn't look so cakey with powder even though i will be putting on a little bit of powder just to set it to make sure it stays okay so for blush i just got these new products from refi and i love them and i'm going to use two blushes from them and they're cream blushes as you can see and i am taking the color citrine and their brush like this doesn't really really matter and because this is clearly a warm peachy it just gives a more natural look and when i am doing like a more sun kiss look i will bring it up a little more than i usually would and i like to put a little blush here a little brush on my chin now i'm also going to take refi's blush in malaya and i'm going to use this one because i just want to get it more here and here and a little on my nose right there so with eyeshadow i want to keep this look really all in unison with everything that i've already been using so i'm going to take just a fluffy brush like this and my cream contour uh actually i'm gonna hold off on that so for my eyebrows i am going to use refi's uh, brow scalp and this stuff works amazing got some product there so it's cool. So like you slide it in and then at the tip you have two-sided brush. And these are really going to give your eyebrows that a laminated look. I don't always love that, but I feel like I can I have a lot of control with this to kind of do whatever I want. So I'm gonna brush these up first and I desperately need to trim my eyebrows. Okay, so now that those are in place, I'm going to take my NYX brow tint pen in caramel and I'm gonna start making some hair-like lines to make it super natural. Okay, so now I'm gonna clean these up by using my MAC Studio Studio Pro Concealer in NC30. And I'm just gonna take this brush right here from Iconic London in brush 11. And I'm just gonna try to clean these up just a little bit. Okay, so my eyebrows are done. I am now going to start with the eyes. I want everything to kind of be in unison of what I've been using already. So I'm gonna take a fluff brush like this and I'm gonna take my contour stick and I'm just gonna get some product on there. And I'm just gonna go right here in my eye, just to give a little bit of definition. And I'm also gonna go on my nose right here since, why not? Okay, so now I'm going to take my bronzer from MAC and this is in golden, uh, refined golden. And then I'm gonna use my iconic London brush and I'm just gonna get some product in there. And I just want, to lightly tap this, I want this to stay and I want it to be a little more matte. So I'm gonna take a brush like this and I'm gonna use my refined golden bronzer once more. And I am just gonna go underneath my eye. And I'm gonna kind of take the bronzer and go a little bit on my eyelid. So for my eyelids, I'm going to take this Prism Highlighter palette, it's so pretty, and I'm just going to go kind of in between here, 
And I'm just gonna go with my finger because I feel like it goes on more naturally. I'm just gonna dab it on just to give my eye just a little glow. Okay, so for eyeliner, I'm going to take my um, Makeup by Mario palette and Master Mattes, and I'm gonna take my Sonia Kushek brush like this, and I'm gonna go between here and the black. And I'm gonna make a little wing, as little as I can, just like that. You don't have to do this, I just need a cat eye. Okay, so now I'm also gonna take my Palladio Eye Pencil in brownie, and I'm just gonna go inside my upper lid. This gives it a little definition to your eye. You know, I have very fine hair and blue eyes, so without some makeup, sometimes I can look one color <laughs> really muted it out now for mascara i'm going to take my kill lash mascara by cleo cosmetics and i'm just gonna target mostly my outer lashes this stuff is so good like i, <laughs> I only wanted like a little lash and these are like really doing its thing <laughs> okay so as i'm getting shiny Cause I'm getting really hot in here because the sun's like really beating on me. So Refi sent me this uh, translucent powder and it's water-based and I love it. I just take a beauty blender and I'll get a little product on there. I'm just gonna lightly tap where I'm getting a little shiny. I am obsessed with this stuff because like this is not a sponsored post by them. But it sets your skin and it still looks like skin. It doesn't look like sometimes with translucent powders, it can look really cakey if you put a lot on real fast. And if you're really like, if you're doing, you know, for photos or you're going to an event or something like that, it's great to have a translucent powder like that. But for a day and for a more natural look, I, Definitely think, and I'm being so modest about it. I'm gonna add some freckles on my nose. I'm gonna regret this, I know it. But I'm gonna take my my brow pen that I just use my eyebrows. And I'm gonna add just more freckles. I like this way more than I thought I was gonna like it. Okay, so I added some freckles. Okay, so for underneath my eyes, I just want a little more definition. So I wanna go in with this color and this color for my Makeup by Mario palette. And I'm taking a brush like this and I'm lightly going underneath my eyes. This was supposed to be a no makeup and makeup look. I feel like the liner on the sides, whatever, it's cool. Okay, so for highlighter, which is gonna make the skin just look super glowy cause that's never a bad thing. I'm gonna go in with my Lumi Glotion again. So I'm gonna put this on my, the top of my hand like that. I'm gonna do a little more. And I'm gonna take the back of my damp beauty blender, get it really nice and even on the back of my beauty blender. So it's super subtle, which is what I want. So I'm trying to keep this more like natural, natural. Like I can add lashes, individual lashes. That would be really pretty, but this is like for an everyday or if you're going somewhere that's super casual and you just want a little something. This is like just a cute little makeup. Okay, so for my lips, I'm gonna take my NYX Lip Liner and Mahogany. And I don't want it to be too much. Now I'm going to take my Into You Lip Syrup in G01. I'm going to put a little bit on the air. Like legitimately, my skin looks like I have no makeup on. I actually wore this like whole like face combination um, the other day and I got so many compliments where people are like, your skin is crazy. And I'm like, really? <laughs> and then I looked at it and I really feel like this combination like 
really works together. Okay, so now that I'm done, I'm going to take my Iconic London Prep and Set Glow setting spray. And let that sit. So this to me is my no makeup makeup look. You don't have to do the um, winged liner. You can put like a little bit of like a natural, um, like a neutral darker toned eyeshadow just to give it a little definition without looking like any makeup. But mostly I feel like a no makeup look is really good for the skin. So there is no filter on this whatsoever. And I feel like I found the perfect skin combination. I'm so happy. So, okay. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know any ideas that you guys have or that you would like to see more from me. Yeah. Do you guys want more makeup? Do you guys want more lifestyle? Do you want more spiritual? Do you want more fashion? Whatever it is, let me know. I will make it work for you guys. And yeah. So thanks for watching. Take care of yourself. Do the inner work. And stay tuned for more. Bye, guys.